Hello, Night City. Thank you for tuning in to WPMG 150, The Postmortem. I'm your host, David Jones, and we're here to give you some of the best entertainment this side of the corporate zone. But before we get into that, how about that gunfight in Pacifica last night, huh? I was at home in Rancho Coronado and saw the fireworks cross in San Mauro Bay. Talk about fucking crazy. Might have been some RPGs even fired off. Hey, whatever the case, someone in South Night City pissed some folks off. Hell, maybe it was just a celebration for the upcoming TNT concert this weekend. Now, we all know the new trash has been burning up local venues, but can they milk their new corpo contract for all it's worth? Rumor has it their old manager, Chet, <laughs> Chet, signed some crazy new band. He's got to be steaming after getting fired. Heard the drama was insane. Anyways, before we get back to the music, let's have a word from our sponsors. At Rockland Augmentics, we believe that cyberware can restore functionality and improve quality of life. So whether you're in need of a replacement limb or just want to upgrade yourself to meet the changing needs of today's world, remember, Rockland Augmentics will provide the best cyberware you can get anywhere. Next time you see your doc, ask about our sports line. Rockland Augmentics. Cyberware for humans, by humans. ZChat by Ziggurat brings you Napa, the fastest neural agent processing accelerator on the market today. Talk twice as fast all night long. ZChat, named the best chat app by Night City Today News. Brought to you by Ziggurat. You won't be the wimp anymore with Pro Kibble. It's scientifically designed to rebuild the molecular fibers of your muscles. Stronger, faster, and better with 12 creatic amino acids. And it's delicious. Need a drink that can keep you going at four in the morning? Your tunes leaving you in the dust? You need Smash Energy. Smash, kick your other habits in the face. Smash, high energy, high life. Connecting your best possible self to your best possible result. Ziggurat, connecting everything. Hey everybody, welcome to our third episode of our first session of Cyberpunk Red. Things have been a little bit crazy up till now. We had a concert, a firefight, and now the group has escaped from the Nomad camp and is making their way either towards Night City or further into the Badlands to try to lay low while the heat dies down. Let's see how they handle it. Um, as you guys start heading out, I need Max to make a drive roll. It's going to be about a 15 difficulty. But you, did a, you do get a good bonus. This is to see if you can blend in with the rest of the vehicles leaving and don't stand out of going one direction that's off from the rest towards, like, wherever. That will be drive land vehicle. I'm actually going to turn my agent <laughs> off so when we, do yeah, get, baby. when we do get towards the city and they kick back onto the network, mine will be off so we they can't track me. So as you guys are driving out, the reason this was important is that Max sees in the distance, you hear it first, the choppers, as they're coming this direction. And it sounds like it's coming from the direction of your hotel, and they're flying over this way now. I'm glad we didn't unpack shit in the hotel. Jesus I'm also, also going to pull out the bug detector and flip it on to make sure somebody didn't bug our van or something while we were... Uh, nothing seems to be in the van and it's hard to do that because you're bouncing around the back because he's literally going off road so like the, 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 the back of the, tr the van is just bouncing back and forth and you're getting jostled a bit um, you're used to more like smooth asphalt from Night City not fucking off roading through the desert terrain so you got a couple times where you almost like worsen your wounds a bit but you manage to maintain yourself and just you know scan the van you don't find anything and as okay. Max pulls onto the main highway, uh, the rest of the nomads kind of do the same and start heading off. But you'll notice that one car, like one nice, like Shion, nice sports car, uh, pulls up beside you guys and is pacing the van. Uh, inside you see, you know, Jose and Leo, and then in the back seat is the leader of the clan. Right on. And you'll see, like, uh, you know, Jose rolls down the window and is like gesturing to the side of the road. <laughs> like trying to get me to pull over? Yeah. Why the fuck would I pull over? Maybe he wants to tell you something. Right. 
We have no reason not to trust yeah, them. I'll trust, I'll trust yeah, them. I'll, I'll right. no reason not yeah. to trust them. So, I mean, you're a nomad. They're nomads. I mean, right? I, yeah. is there some code? We were in their territory. I will have handgun in hand and okay. jacket. <laughs> About halfway to the Sunset Hotel, you guys pull off to the side of the road, heading you know west towards Night City. And in the distance, you can start to see just the very tips of the ads hitting the air. And so when you pull off to the side... Um, the car engine is still going. You hear two doors open and close from the sports car as they park behind you. Everybody in the van from behind that, and even Max from using the rearview mirrors and the side mirrors, can see that two people get out of the car, uh, both from the passenger side. So you got Jose getting out, and then obviously El Pache. And they start walking towards the driver's side, you know, along the side of the road towards, you know, your, your door. All right. Um, they're not openly carrying any weapons. Uh, they don't have uh, what appears to be any sort of like hostile par- posture right now, but you would say they're probably wary. Um, sure. Jose is kind of looking at the van through the mirrors as he walks up to the the driver's side. The whole time, though, the, the clan head is just watching you through the mirrors. As they pull to the side, you see Jose leans up against the the door. You know, like his, his chest is facing the front of the van, and the clan head walks around him. Does just stand like facing you directly? He's like, "Hey, um, what the fuck?" We we're just trying to play a show, and dudes show up, start shooting at us. So I just have a question: Did you yeah. not know he was doing this? No. Who, Chet? Yeah. No, we had no fucking clue. Because he told us that it was going to be some like little theatrical one-off, right? to get more traffic or whatever. I mean, he gave us a discount on the show. We were going to pay 10 grand, but we only paid six. You paid six? <laughs> yeah. You paid, you paid six. He told us 440. So Chet, Chet was undercutting us. Extra oh, yeah. Money. Well, it's not that like he can take more fucker. money from you now. But yeah. uh, the point is, like, I need to know where my clan stands and all this because we were not in on that part. We weren't in on it either. We weren't, either. We weren't we, in on anything. Had we known, this all would have gone down entirely differently, and we wouldn't have killed them. All right. So, listen. I don't give a shit if you put stuff about your show up on the news or on the data pool. I don't give a fuck. Just keep my family out of it. I don't really think it's oh, a good yeah. idea we do any of that. But Yeah. Yeah, right. we, we, won't, we won't put your family name out there. Then, then no, all of us not. right now make a deal. We don't talk about what just happened. Nope. Not at no, all. Not at all. Ain't got nothing not at to all. say. In, in fact, we owe you a show. Absolutely do. do. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Um, my, my family runs the, the bar up at the sunset, so if you need to get a hold of me, talk to him. We have radios. We control a couple towers out this area, so um, I only had the dead asshole's phone number. Whose am I getting now? I'll give him my number okay all right i'm gonna go meet up my family if you guys want to stay at the sunset probably a bad idea yeah it was paid for by chet and if he had people to call and was ready for that then they'll it's be waiting for us or try and hit us yeah well I'm gonna he, don't know where's the system went he either. told me he was gonna call in for a helicopter flyby for continental just to kind of heighten tension and have a good vid. So I don't know what the real deal was. I wish he would have let us know. He's an idiot is what the real deal is. But yeah, yeah. we're going to find somewhere to lay low because apparently they're calling some people after us now. So, Well, I was probably the chopper that I saw go that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're not going to find anything. We've all fucking scattered. So let them find your dead manager. No offense if you liked him. I, I didn't give a shit one way or the other. Liked him enough to shoot him in his fucking head. Yeah, good shot. what he just pulled? Not exactly a fan. Well, we're going to head out. I got to meet yeah. with everybody else the run of you. You guys should probably get the fuck off the road, too. Yeah, um, we're yeah. out of here. But yeah, stay in touch. Lay low for a little bit. Yeah. Again, if you need something from us, let us know at the sunset, all right? Same thing. Yeah. Once you figure out where you want us to play and when, let us know. We'll be there. Deal. He'll just slap the side of the van and head back to the car. Cool. Pretty reasonable dudes. And then uh, we'll head out. God, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, hey, Box, just between you and me, I think it might mm-hmm. be smart we um, don't release any footage about this show. Nope. Yeah. 
We, we should wait till we're famous and it can be bootleg material. How about that? Yep, I'm good with that because I had it all, everything, well, all the sounds, the crowd, everything that happened was all recorded through the box. Uh, but yeah, I didn't that's gonna, that's gonna be like fucking garage tapes, dude. Love to see what hits the news. I'll, I'll once we're actually back on the road again, I'll kind of fall back in the van. I'll take my mask off because these people know who I am. I'm fine with them. Okay, so I'll take the mask off and I'll just I'll be chilling because I got fucking shot. <laughs> I'm not happy yeah. about that. <laughs> what does first aid actually do? Is it just stabilize? Yeah, it, it, time is really what you need to heal yourself. Time or gotcha. like certain medical treatment, so hospital stays, you know, things like that. Depends on how hurt you are. Like his his healing regen is not going to be that terrible because he's not that hurt. So it's just like at least a couple days for damn sure he's going to be up. Um, where do you guys want to go? Like you're on this stretch of highway, um, you know, you still got a lot of the badlands around you, which you guys have the home in the van. You can just stay out here, or you can go back to Night City. Um, hey Max, you still got uh, you still got that Nomad cover shit in here to tarp over the van. Yeah, yeah, there's always that shit there. I mean, there's gear in here for stuff. I mean, we can find some place out here, like in the Badlands, yeah. and just really like lay super low. Yeah, I mean, like or, for a day, dude. You know, or we yeah, can slum it somewhere in the city. It, this this couple days downtime will give me a chance to write some new material. I have ideas yeah. for. So yeah, I mean, there's an immortalized check. Goddamn, plenty assholes. of places in the Badlands to like conceal the the van good enough from like flybys and shit. So you want to go? Think. Do you want to go closer to the Night City or further out into the Badlands? Um, well, I, what I would like to do is utilize like the knowledge that I have of the Badlands okay. to determine like a safe, out of the way, tucked away spot to where like they're probably not gonna they're they're probably not gonna come out that direction or that far, right? Or it will be in a position where like I don't know, we're like up against like a. Uh, like we're low, like in a gully or something, and if, so if they fly by, they're not really going to see a van okay. sitting there. Um, or a hilly so area, and we're just another hill. You want to yeah. stay further away from the city, then, because the closer you get, the more lights and the more, like, you know, pit stops here and there there are that could get you potentially sighted. Especially since if this was actually a Continental Brands guy, which it seems like it really fucking was, they may actually have a security team coming out this direction from the city. So not going towards the city, probably the better bet. Okay. Um, it's not that hard for you to kind of get a good set of uh, like idea of where you're at and where some good hidey holes are going to be because you've had to avoid you know uh, certain patrols from authorities and lawmen that come out this way now and again so you've got a couple of bolt holes around the area you know you can go to that aren't really in any other clan's territory so there's a couple of places you can go um, there is a cave not that far out of the city it's by the landfill it's a little farther south so like you would head towards the city but then veer away from it and go south around towards the landfill area um, so like a couple miles from Hay Haywood. Um, oh, perfect. That would landfill do. Area. Or you can go to the landfill itself. Or if you want to. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need to get that close to the hills have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit gets a little crazy down there. But uh, about an hour or so passes. You start to go down the road as far as you think you can. That's safe before you start off-roading again and going for more service roads in the back. Because there are some that are out there that are still kind of intact. Um, they're just not lit up by lights not that you matter because you've got a fucking you know headlights on the vehicle you drive through the badlands um and you pass in the distance you pass a sunset and you'll see that that chopper is now returned to the sunset and is landing um you will also see from a vantage point as you get up to like a hilly area two large suvs pull into the sunset parking lot with the continental brand's logo on the side yeah so as you guys pull off you will as you skirt the area around the sunset, you'll actually ping an area network, which is where you guys had service for at the hotel, etc. Before, um, and as soon as you shit. ping it, you I have just realized what's that? I said shit. I just realized I actually have a video camera as, as part of my equipment. I totally could have been recording the show. <laughs> yeah, you could have. Um, so, as you guys ping that one part and pass by the network, you actually all get two voicemails. Like a mass voicemail was sent out, like a voice message was sent to all of you guys. It's from Tyra's number. Listen to it. Give it a listen. Um, you. I'll turn mine back on after they're like, hey, we all got voicemails. They're like, I probably do. As soon as you get it, uh, you find that you hear her and her voice is very nervous, very like panicked. She says, listen, listen, listen. I don't know what was going on. I just know that I had to do what Dickhead said because he bought all my debt. Um, I hope you guys made it out. 
I wasn't behind what was going on with that. Like, that wasn't anything I had anything to do with. I hope you believe that. Uh, I'm really sorry, and I hope that you guys made it out of there. Don't go back to the hotel. He was having me call people to go meet him at the hotel and wait for you. So, I'm sorry. If this makes up for you, I have all the money that they paid him. I handled the account. And she clicks. I'm going to send a quick message to her. You just got promoted. You're not to blame. We love you. So looking over his shoulder at the message. Send a couple of hearts. It'll get the point across. Sure, I'll black. send a couple of hearts. You send it off, and just as you get to the edge, uh, as you're getting fading signals like going down the bars, you know, like one, two, you know, you're from two to one to just that little flicker on and off on one, you'll get a, a message back, just a text, um, that you have a balance transfer to all your agents. Nice. Um, nice. You guys, let me do the math here because... We got paid! We still got paid. That's because she got promoted. You guys all get 1200 bucks. Nice. Uh, she sent the whole. She sent the whole. She sent all thousand. of it. Yep. Good shit. God, I'm not broke anymore. Holy shit. I'm gonna send. I could buy some more equipment. I'm gonna send her uh, two hundred of my twelve hundred. Just with a text message. Well, once we get back into where we, we have signal to do that, mm -hmm. and it'll it'll be attached to a message saying, welcome to the team. Fair enough. I'd say Z's actually going to text her back and ask, how much was your debt? Uh, so at this point, you guys have managed to send those off, but you'll have to wait to get back into an area with signal to actually get her replies. That's fine. Um, but you find a good hidey hole money? and like pretty much a shallow cave. Uh, first page. Ah, there it is. Yep. Nate, so I, I, I think you missed that. Um, Tyra sent you guys all a message, and then she sent you all the twelve hundred bucks that would have yeah. been literally one fifth of everything for everybody. Um, but Max finds you guys a hidey hole. It's a shallow cave on the outskirts. You can actually smell the the landfill from where you're at, so it's like a mile away. Mm -hmm. um, but it's quieter than that. Really, really quiet. For Max, this is natural. Um, you hear the occasional hunting animal, like a coyote kind of howl in the distance but nothing really that is out of place for him and his experience in the wild cool um since we're going to be out here for probably a little while at least in, at least a night i would think uh mm -hmm. i'm gonna set my recorder up to the window as i open the window a little bit to kind of let air in and shit i'm gonna catch the sounds of the night so i can recreate them with my uh with my boys okay like for shows and shit fucking weirdo <laughs> Fucking talent. God. Goddamn fucking singers suck. Yeah. <laughs> Must be nice to be able to sit out in nature and record sounds. Meanwhile, I'm over here dealing with the fact I just murdered two people. Yeah. Nothing there. You know, let's write a song about it, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wrote a song about yeah. it. Like the hit, hit goes. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, uh, since you stabilized yourself, Jeff, like shortly after that firefight, you gain a number of hit points equal to your body every full day you spend rest. Okay. Uh, what is my body? My body is five. So, so I'll be out here for two days. Provided we're, not, we're not, provided we're not doing anything for the next three days, I'll heal up completely, hopefully. All right. Are you guys going to stay off grid then for the next couple days? Yeah, I we'll think that it's tomorrow we should at least get back in range of a network so that we can like get messages, send messages, yeah. get an idea of what the fuck, check the news maybe or something and find out what's... I think we should do that daily, but in different areas of the but, grid. I'd say yeah, left, right, at least a mile apart. Right tracking. <laughs> Still at least yeah. a mile apart. Fuck you with that. Yeah, pretty <laughs> smart. We'll be smart about it. Yeah. You don't want any sleep in the same place twice. You don't want any yeah, old yeah. grandfathers getting mad and fucking dealing ad to you while you're sleeping. No, um, man, so dude, for mile down the road every time. For sending Max's, us ads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for for Max, um, usually your communication out in the Badlands, it's all shortwave radio. You know, uh, you guys figure bank single off of any towers. Communication towers are still out and functioning, and that makes sense. And even 
El Pache alluded to the fact that his family has several towers that they kind of have sway or at least connection to. So communication and we have, have we have at least two shortwave radios now. You Not do. necessarily. Does Polly want to check those for the t- the time you're out there? Yeah, once we get all settled in, okay. I help Max with the cover and everything else. I have two new things that I haven't ever seen before. I'm opening up one, and I'm making sure that there isn't any... Like, they've been... I made sure they were turned off before we left. Okay. So, in case there was a tracking device that depended on it being on... Right. We well, would be able to be pinged. Well, Vox actually swept the van for bugs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right, while we were jo- jostling around. Yeah. But they were turned off. Fair enough. So... Yeah. Before it may I turn not have been that, transmitting. No, I get you. I get right. you. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pop one open and I'm gonna look and see if there's any tracking device or bugs okay. or et cetera, et cetera. Or if it's just a plain old shortwave radio. No, that makes sense. Go ahead and roll me your electronics. Not bad at all, sir. So Polly looks it over and when she kind of tears into the guts of the you know the, the radio, you know, for lack of a better term, um, she doesn't find anything out of place. Uh, they're they're only here's the difference though they're actually just connected to each other more like walkie talkies than actually short radios. Okay, these are pretty much just um, for each person. Just so everybody knows, my left hand tools will come out and like I, I've got I basically have a, I have a tool hand. Yeah, but it's nice. it's masked over and everything, but it's. <laughs> Those things are awesome. It's a nice tool kit, right on hand all the time. Uh-huh. Um, so, awesome. yeah, she goes through them, and there's nothing for tracking. They seem to be just normally linked walkie-talkies, that's all. Now, with your skill, you can actually make these radios if you wanted to. Uh, yeah. Given an old since, time, some innovation, you could do something with that. It, absolutely. Um, and I want to, uh, because I heard him saying that they own some towers out here. Yep. And I want them to be able to connect to the towers. All right. Go ahead and give me another one of your electronics rolls. You fix them both. It takes like about a day because you have to kind of improvise in some spots here. Because it's not You don't really have a, a good workbench here and you're in the middle of the desert. But you do find enough stuff to make do. And with your skill as a tech, you actually manage to rewire these things that connect to the local towers. And the channel settings you adjust so they actually hit different frequencies. Beautiful, beautiful. Probably had extra shit in my tech bag. Yeah, it could have been. So that's day one. Cool. One of the radios will be up front. I'm also making sure that I can charge it while charge them while the vehicle is running. So when when the radio shortwave radios start to get low on battery, we can just plug them in. Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. Uh, you can get them set up like that. Um, for Max, you know you can call your clan if you really, really, really need help. Like, they'll help you out. You remember the family. They're going to give you assistance. But right now, it seems like everything's kind of quiet. And with the radios working after the first day that Polly have set up, you guys scan channels here and then. There's nobody looking for you out here. You don't know what's going on on the data pool because you're not, you don't have any access to local networks. So that's kind of a still an unknown. But at least... Radio-wise, in the Badlands, nobody's hunting you guys down. What about checking news and stuff when we actually get back into... That will deal with... That will deal with if you guys want to go towards, like, either um, the hotel or back to Night City proper. Well, I think that's that's where we were going to get back on the main network, right? Is back. That's where you would have to go, yeah, to get on the data pool, yep. Yeah, Yeah, I'm I'm on board board with Jeff. I'm, I'm sending her 200 cred. Okay. I'm checking to see how much her debt was and how much more I can give. Yeah, when you guys get in... No, he, you know. he bought her debt, which means he owned her debt and paid it off. Now yep. that he's dead, ain't nobody collecting. Oh, I didn't kill her. She ain't getting shit from me. <laughs> Fair enough. Fucking see, he's like, I'm just going to murder everybody who says sideways now, from now on. <laughs> and I'm like, that's valid. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, that's fucking valid. I mean, he ain't wrong. No, you ain't. Um, so do you guys, day two, do you guys head back towards the city or are you going to stay out here still? Because you're starting to get a little hungry. And while he's got a kitchen of some shit, y'all going to have to start hunting rats or something at this point. What we should probably do is um, go back towards the city and find a safe place to, like, put Play the low. van. 
Right. We'll and see then, if they cleared out of that motel too. Because we could go back into Night City without our like helmets. Yeah. And just be other, right. just be regular assholes. To be complete truth about that, yeah. Remember, Chet never saw you guys without your helmets. So that's right. right. He also didn't know any of our actual names. He did not. That's a hundred. So the only thing that they correct. could be conceivably looking for is the van. So they could tag the van or like, I'm sure there's license plates or whatever or numbers or registration numbers or some shit with the van. Right. That's yeah. so, to alter our so agents so they can't I actually, find through our agents. I have a really good idea how we can get out of this. All right. If we go to Night City. Suicide and there, pact. And Sorry. there are any police chasing us, we just drive forward in our car. They'll stop chasing us. Hide behind a building. That's what happened in the video down. game. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's that's valid. He was like, that's oh, yeah, strategy. that's... Yeah, yeah you, know, you just, just got to go oh. far enough. You just got to go far enough. they just stop and they give yeah. up. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, no so, car chases. It's a, that's what I'm saying. If we can find some place... strategy. This ain't, like, this ain't GTA. Safe and secure to leave the van. We can just go walking our happy asses into the city with no masks on. Yeah. 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 Give us a chance to check the... Grab by to eat, check in... Get supplies or whatever we need, all that shit. You legit yeah. fucking can. That's for damn sure. Um, so this is Night City from the outskirts at night. Those are the, the ad streams I was talking about that just kind of are over the city. So as you guys camp out outside the city for the moment, this is what you're seeing effectively. Now, y'all can go back right away, and I think that's kind of the plan currently. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. yeah. Yep. All right. So you guys are going to have the city. Not a problem at all. Do you guys want to do undercover <laughs> darkness? Do you want to go into the day? How do you want to set this up? Because the cover of darkness is probably the best option. All right, Max. You're night time in uh, night time in night city. Good. Okay, yeah, night time as good as time as any. You so, know, I'd like to rely upon my skill for tactics uh, of tactics. Yes, because I'm not a tactical person, clearly. Uh, so I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to use, utilize okay. those. Yeah, go ahead. Give me a roll. Uh, the the better find. you get, the more I'll tell you. We nine, not N shit. No, it's not shit. Uh, so nighttime, honestly, is probably the best bet. I mean, if you guys come in in the day, people are going to automatically be able to recognize the van. At yeah. nighttime, it'd be easier to kind of obfuscate that, you know, and get and slide in past people. Uh, whereas during the day, probably worse. Um, as in terms of heat on you guys right now, if indeed that was some manager for Continental Brands, he's going to be pissed off and looking for you, and so's his fucking boss. That's for goddamn sure. Now, okay. if if Chet was in contact with him, they may know who Tyra is. Just so you're aware, I'll be changing out of my urban flash that we perform in into just leisure wear. Okay. Same. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So, I don't know, maybe this Tyra person could be our, I mean, since she's, I guess, our new manager, maybe she could be our little kind of point of contact with what's going on. Maybe she'd let us know if people were reaching out to her in theory to try and right. get in touch with us and hopefully she'd be loyal to us i mean i don't know that we, have we didn't not kill her. her yeah uh -huh. no you did not kill her which does mean something and you also are kind of paying her a bit which also means something and you killed the guy who was basically making her work off her debt as a pr slave which also means something but then again it is night city which means if somebody offers her more money she could flip on you guys Right, but we did, but we also promoted her, which means she potentially can make a lot more money. That's true. Depending she, on how big but, we get, yes. But, but she knows who we are and what we've done. Well, That's she doesn't know your too. faces. She knows the band. She doesn't know who we are. Yeah. She just knows the band. Yeah. She doesn't know the band. The more names. popular we get, the more people will be walking around wearing our shit. So, yep. in theory, we could be anyone. Yeah, you <laughs> might actually see like some like you know, not necessarily cosplay, but some fans wearing like a helmet, like one of you guys have. <laughs> that would be kind that of works. funny. It's really a pretty yep. good uh, continental pretty, brand security kills setup. three citizens cosplaying as members of a band. <laughs> 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 that would be great on the PR feeds. Scream sheets. Yeah. That is fucking crazy. Times. But you guys want to head Just in at shows night? Shows are going to be dangerous, but that's going to be fun. Yeah, nighttime, okay. I think, is the, the best bet. As you guys are coming out from the south, you're hitting up Haywoods first. And uh, your phones will all ding, and you'll have your responses back. First off, you get a thank you from Tyra for the 200 euro bucks you guys send her. Second off, you asked how much she owed. It was 10 grand. Oof. Uh, she oh lets you know God. she, she got, owed the money. She got 200 from me and 200 from Jeff. So she owed the money. And 200 from me because she oh, put so her dad six. through a rehabilitation clinic because he was strung out. 
Okay. Um, Chet swept okay. and took advantage of that, and then she was working for him. Like a corpo slime ball. Yeah. The Pretty debt's much. gone. Like, Chet owns it. So, like, Chet being dead now, that debt's completely gone. Good. Yep. Does good favors. Well, that worked out good for Tyra, I would say. Yeah, yeah. it did. Yeah, it did. Most definitely. Um, yeah, which, it's lay low. Get, we're definitely going to get some decent food. I'm going to relax because I still need to heal. Okay. So you guys hit up through Haywood, um, which is, again, a lot of industrial parks around there, but there are some hotels off on the side and some small restaurants. You guys are 6,000 euro bucks richer, so you can actually get a place for the night and relax and take a shower and get some food if you want. Yeah, I don't see why not. We're not in any of our gear. We shouldn't be able to be fingered, yeah. so fuck it. Yeah. We were originally looking forward to yeah. a shower, so... Yeah, the only thing that's going to stand out is the van. Um, but for Max, if you make a couple of calls, you can actually swap the van out for another vehicle from your clan. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, I want to do that. The only thing is going to be our gear. Mm -hmm. Everybody just has to be cool then with it staying with that van because whatever we or, get is probably going to be smaller. Or if you get a motel room, stow the, the gear there for now while you get the swap out and see what you can fit into the van or what with the new get? vehicle. So, like, you know, because um, I'm – well, I probably misunderstood you. What I was thinking is that you're like, let's just stay with that van while it goes back to the clan and we're not going to have access to it. Um, and I was thinking, like, if you guys just run a hotel room, you can swap it out into the next vehicle, maybe get a, something with another increased storage size that can make room yeah, for Yeah, because I, I would assume you're going to get something comparable to what we have if you're no man. If they have, I mean, if they have it, yeah. I don't know how, like, right. uh, how stacked, how you stacked have, the clan is. You have access to one vehicle right now, but you can swap it out for another one of the same type. I don't have an issue with that. Um, okay. If you, okay. Maybe, That's like, good. an SUV this time around, though, you know, so to speak. I will do that. I will make arrangements to swap it out that way. The vehicle, we're not driving around in a hot vehicle. Right. People don't know about it. They're not looking for it. We can maintain now, some level of anonymity. there are small strings attached to that. That means you're going to have to do a favor for the family. So you got, yeah. basically, it's like you got to pick up a job for us if we're going to swap out your shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think we can do a side quest. So essentially, you get the, <laughs> in one day, I'm going to come to you for a favor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, for sure. Come to me on this the um, day of my yeah. daughter's wedding. <laughs> so the talk with your family goes well. They're like, yeah, sure. We got some some running gigs that we gonna need you to do, but we can swap out your, your fucking you know, wheels, no problem. You know, where are you at type situation, you know? So they can meet up with you, swap it out, It'll take like a day. So that's another day okay. that, you know, Vox gets to heal a bit. You guys get to kind of sweat off some of the heat. Um, and you get to check the data pool. On the data pool for what went down in the Badlands. There's definitely a Continental Brands statement that is put out that says, rumor has it that a Continental Brands employee was involved with a scuffle in the Badlands with a, a Nomad clan and that it turned bad. These are all rumors and nothing is to be taken into stock or read into it at all. The, the fact is one of our staff was overzealous at a, at a concert that was hosted by a family in the Badlands and some miscommunications occurred but everything walked away just fine. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You do Whatever. get we note. Have a corpo translator? This is one thing that they couldn't cover. Uh, the individual involved, because there was actually footage of him, somebody put his picture up on the fucking data pool. Wilson <laughs> Hall, who is the brother of a regional director for Continental Brands, uh, Lucius Hall Jr. That do has those names ring a bell? Streetwise it? No, like is my background. Uh, yeah. Lucius Hall is a large... His family is very much into Continental. Uh, they're not connected to the face. Like, they're not connected way, 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 way up. But the, on a right. regional level, like a like in a district level, essentially, they are really in. Lucius does a lot of stuff for the marketing and strategy in certain neighborhoods. So he's the one who decides this gets cut off, that doesn't get cut off. But his brother is uh, a basically a manager under him that oversees small store-to-store -store operations. So there's no heat on you from the law. There's no public heat on you from Continental. Continental has disavowed anything of that sort happening. So basically, their man that got killed doesn't exist. Eh. Cost of doing business. Yeah, Chet doesn't exist. Well, you know. We'll oh, to be fair, Chet was a peon. We'll see. Yeah. This is also... 
probably why the new trash fired his ass. However, also by the time you get into the city, um, some bootleg recordings of your show have hit the data pool. Shit. And people are asking. I figured for, that was going to happen for the rest of the show, because it gets cut out um, halfway through, and like halfway through the first set, like they just stop because it's muffled. So people move. It's like a, a, a phone recording in a in a theater, right? You hear the that muffle and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, and it's like whoever was recording got too into the show, and now we can't hear shit. Then there's other recordings like, was there gunfire at the show? Holy shit, was this the thing in the news? And people are asking questions about it. Um, I'm recording all of our shows from now on. I forgot I had that video recorder, otherwise just I was going to this. Just let it go. <laughs> you do get news that Chet died, though, on the beginning of day three. Uh, Chet Worthington uh, has been pronounced dead. He was a... The only reason he's in the news is because his connection to the new trash. So <laughs> the radio station picks it up because they do an interview with Postmortem, with uh, Postmortem, yes, with uh, new trash, and they mention that, oh, they've heard that their former manager is unfortunately deceased. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. He was habitually... <laughs> Habitually stealing money from the band. Yep. That's why they fired him. Uh, he was essentially refusing to do big shows that they wanted to do. So they moved in other directions. And now there's an announcement that they're going to do a new show in um, uh, in Watson at a club called Ground Zero. And word has it, and this is basically deflating you guys' boost in the data pool because of the crazy shit having your concert. She's doing a brain dance of her performance and is going to sell it for the first time ever. So if you want to be a lead a singer... Brain dance. A brain dance is basically like a SimSense recording. The, oh, the okay. person is outfitted with a uh, cyberware that records their sensations of the area they're around, like the, all the experiences, every sense, smell, taste, emotion, everything is collected. And if somebody buys that and downloads it, they get to experience as if they were that person for that time. So essentially, she's they're marking it as, do you ever have dreams of being a, a rock star? Well, now you can know what it's like and, you know, Yona Total is doing a brain dance of her performance at Ground Zero that will be on the market shortly thereafter. And that's getting a whole lot of traction right now. Brain dances are not uncommon. Some people definitely do it. A lot of celebrities will do it sometimes. And it's also done for different types of, like, you know, entertainment value of all types. Let's just put it out there. Uh, snuff film brain dances are also a big thing. So they'll rig somebody with a brain dance uh, cyberware and then kill them. So people can you know, experience that, which is fucked in the head. Snuff films. Right. Nice. So the one that she saw, I know, is her being the star performer at a local club for a big and well-produced show. Seems very corporate to me. It is. Yep. It very much is. This is a Fuck very strategic release. <laughs> oh, absolutely. We basically created the perfect time for them to be like, oh, we're going to poor chat. We miss him. Could have been a better guy. By the way, Years is cool shit. Yeah, especially when you guys are getting traction and people know mm -hmm. who you were, you know, word of mouth is passing. Like, no, 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 snuff that. Cool, yep. we're up. Uh, and now, remember, I told you guys before we started, the new trash won't go on tour with you guys. Like, they would not play the same places you would play. Like, if you're doing a data a data pool show on a certain website at a certain time, they're like, yeah, we're not going to do a show as part with them. If you want to build as bigger, then we'll do it. But it, it felt more like they weren't stopping you directly. It was more about Chet. Yeah. And in this time, though... He's dead. You're getting trash. I'm like, you know, no, 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 no. It's about us. Right. Stop. So now, now it's, it's becoming. Yeah, now right. it's becoming personal. Uh, and now they're all. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, we'll go let's kill go. him. Oh, hey. <laughs> we'll send CD up there and take care. Yeah, of him. Yeah, really. Let's go let's not, let's, no, let's, let's not. not let's not treat it. Let's not treat it like someone didn't try to kill our lead singer. Right. Right. You know. Yeah. It, it, luckily, though, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, gunfire, just we were never here. Nobody was ever here. And then rumors spread. Yeah, rumors, people talk. You know, who are you going to believe? You know, that's... And then Continental Brands is downplaying it, too, because they can't admit that one of their, you know, security forces got killed at a Nomad yeah. concert. You know, so... Right. There's nothing on the, you know, above the level that's going to be said about that. Below, that's a different story. And Z could hack places and find out if they're actually doing mm -hmm. anything once we get to a place where you guys want to... That's you without your helmet? Yeah. That's nice. pretty badass. That's fucking awesome. That is pretty badass. All right. So I think as we're approaching London, we're going to wrap at that note. You guys gotten back to the city. You got a new set of wheels that's clean and doesn't have any heat attached to it. You just owe the family a favor. You've dealt with your fucking double-crossing bullshit-ass old manager. 
managed to not have any issues right now with any nomads or any lawmen. So you guys are, aren't on the hook for any murders. Continental Brands probably low-key wants to kill you guys. At least, <laughs> at least two family members do that have pull, right? You have two enemies. Other than that, nobody's really worse for her. Vox got shot once. Pretty fucking good. But uh, nobody got hurt too bad. I'm surprised. And that wraps our first session of Cyberpunk Red. A lot of shit happened. A lot of crazy stuff went down. Some negotiations, some gunfights, doing some concerts. Weird shit going on in the data pool. And at the end of it all, our group has made it back to Night City. They've got a new vehicle. They're kind of anonymous within the city. Continental Brands has disavowed publicly anything that went down at the Nomad camp. So that gives them a little bit of leeway, at least on the surface. And it seems now we've got two goals for the next session. One, they want to do the job for the Nomad family to kind of get that debt paid off for the new vehicle. And two, our net runner wants to take a stab at Continental Brands Information Network and see what they can get. We'll see if they can find a good spot to make that happen. Anyways, see if you can catch us live on Twitch when we do our stream. If not, you can always see us on YouTube here. Anyways, until next time, have fun everybody.